Hopefully there aren't going to be any more killer ants on the loose. have arrived at the new sort of place we're living. We seem to be on this, or at the edge at least, of this sort of big complex. We're just in some houses on the outside of that. Apparently this is called Sunshine Villa. Uh, so hopefully that means happy times are ahead. We have been warned of snakes and wild animals uh, around here and in the mountains behind us. Uh, so, fingers crossed we come out of this alive and we have to head to dinner by bus, apparently, in order to avoid um, those animals. expo place that we have come to have dinner in uh, appears to be where the camp is going to be based. Uh, got warned again about the animals, hopefully there aren't going to be any more killer ants on the loose. So yeah, apparently we come here to eat and teach. There is also a maze maze here. Finally a maze I've come across that is actually big enough for me to walk through. People have just visited the supermarket, which is on site uh, just over there. Uh, and we're just about to head back to the little house things, or oh, the Sunshine Villa. Let, yeah, let's call it the Sunshine Villa from now on. Today is the first day of the final camp. We are apparently sticking with these black t-shirts for this week. Today is pretty much going to be the same as the first day of last week's camp. We are doing English tests for the students uh, in order to split them up into the different classes uh, from primary to secondary to advanced. And then the afternoon is going to be spent preparing for the opening ceremony this evening. <laughs> Rather than classrooms, we are apparently going to be teaching all the classes in here. This sort of fish and plant uh, show place, um, warehouse, museum. Um, not quite sure how that's going to work with, you know, all the children running around the same place and us trying to teach lessons over all the noise. I guess we'll probably just have to rock up tomorrow morning and see how things go. Morning tests done. Uh, we've had lunch. We've had some interesting new things here. Fried sweet corn last night was nice. Butternut squash for lunch today and a bit more variety in the tofu dishes as well. Apparently the opening ceremony has now been moved to this afternoon and the evening will be a separate opening welcome party event and hopefully it'll be a nice way to welcome in all the new kids. The 
opening ceremony is over. We've got about an hour and a half until dinner, which means we have a bit of free time to go around and explore the expo area where the camp is being held. So we will uh, have a wander and see what we can find. Sunsets, we finally get a break from the heat a bit. I've surprised myself a bit in how well I've coped with the heat. Normally I don't really like the, the sun too much. I'm more acclimatized to the cold and snow, I think. We will head over to the party. Classes start this morning. We will catch the bus to the camp area in order to have breakfast and then let the classes begin. classes went well. We're all just sort of dotted around in this big warehouse. The noise between classes isn't actually too bad. The biggest noise that we have to deal with is the aircon, sort of this industrial sized thing. So our first class we were like right next to one of the pumpers so we got given a microphone to use uh, in order to help us. But plus points, there are more places here to hide Easter eggs. Minus points, there are more places to lose Easter eggs. We lost a couple in our first class this morning, currently still hidden in the bushes somewhere. So yeah, I think I've got to keep track of where I put them a bit more for the rest of this week. Other than that, everything seemed to go well. We are now heading to lunch and then I believe we are heading to the beach uh, this afternoon for the excursion. Since we only got here at half past four, uh, we got here a bit late really to do any sunbathing. Uh, so plus points, doesn't mean we're going to get burnt out here. So we only have an hour on the beach and we're now heading to dinner at the restaurant. 
uh, which is just over there, sort of in the by the beach, uh, on the sort of main uh, buildings next to where we are. And then I believe we are having a bonfire right here on the beach, so that should be quite a nice way of finishing off the day. Bonfire last night was pretty good fun. Had the surprise uh, fireworks at the end, which I'm assuming was for us. It could have actually been for some other random people on the beach, but we'll take it. This morning is our for our group's first day off of teaching, uh, so I got a bit of a lie in. But with the rest of the morning, I thought I would explore the rest of the area uh, around where we're staying. <laughs> lunch and I continue to be impressed by the variety of veggie stuff that they are offering us here at the camp. We had quite a few dishes that we haven't had before yet so far here in China including asparagus and fried taro so the stuff that we had previously but this was fried and tasted like really sweet. The comparison was made to honey nut cereal but like times 10 so that was a nice surprise. Also crispy fried tofu, which was very much welcome. One of the leaders has kindly gifted us with a bunch of boxes of fruit. They brought it to the Sunshine Villa. So we've got some apples, bananas and watermelon. So that will make some lovely snacks and quite nice to uh, have some fruit for a change. Even though we were off classes this morning, we are back on classes this afternoon. So yeah, hopefully they go well. first lesson of the afternoon actually ended up being cancelled I think because the rain no one sort of wanted to walk through it so we ended up getting to the teaching area a bit later than scheduled uh, so they decided to skip out the first one and we just started with the second class of the afternoon. The Easter egg hunt was probably the best one we've done yet. Uh, lots of great places to hide it and yeah everything else seemed to go well with the other two lessons. We have just had dinner and we are now heading to watch a film for the evening. I believe 
the film choice has been chosen as the parent trap, assuming there'll be Chinese subtitles at the bottom for the kids, and yeah, we'll see how they respond to that. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, then make sure to give it a like and leave your comments down below with any questions that you might have about my trip here in China. And if you want to know more about what it's like to volunteer to teach out here, then make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you get all the notifications about when the next videos come out. See you then.